y'all welcome back to another video thank you guys so much for clicking my name is naomi and welcome to the fam i'm just gonna get right into it so i have been doing some what are these things called pipe cleaner curls is what i'm doing now so i've pretty much done like 90 95 98 whatever percent of my head and i left out these three locks right here to show you guys what i've been doing but i've installed them on the rest of my head turn around for you guys so this is how it looks and I have been working for probably about an hour and a half now. I have 67 locks. So um, I, like I said, I'm almost done. So this pretty much took me about an hour and a half to do. And this is what I'm using. So I did wash my hair regularly. I put some oil in it and moisturized my scalp. That's all I did. And so my hair has dried, obviously, since I've been in the back of my head from the front. So these three locks are a little bit dry. So I'm just going to spray my hair with some regular, uh, this is purified water. So I'm just going to spray these three locks with that and I can show you guys the pipe cleaners I'm using I'm just using regular craft pipe cleaners like I got these from Hobby Lobby I'll show you guys the, <laughs> the package but this is what they look like they're called stems and here is the package so I got some black ones they had a whole bunch of colors so if your hair is dyed red brown blonde they literally have like a pack for every color so this is what they look like and again these were at Hobby Lobby and this is a pack of 50 for a dollar and 69 cents so super duper cheap but um yeah so that's exactly what I've been using and that's all I needed honestly besides this little spray bottle and some oil that's all I've been using was the uh, pipe cleaner so I'm going to take this lock right here and I'm just gonna do about a little twist right here just to make the root um, kind of visible and easy to work with so I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and this is how I've been doing like after you do probably I want to say after you do like three, honestly, you get the hang of it pretty fast. So here is my pipe cleaner. And what I'm going to do is fold it in half like this. I'll show you guys this way. So I'm just going to fold it in half like this. And I'm going to hold this end and I'm going to put my finger in the loop. And I'm just going to twist, 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 twist the loop. And as you guys can see, it's it has twisted the uh, pipe cleaner. And so you should have like a little loop left here. So I'm just gonna squeeze it or twist it and you should be left with that. So nothing on this end and then just a loop. So what I'm gonna do is take that lock and I'm going to insert it into the pipe cleaner. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, come closer. There we go, so I'm gonna insert it into the pipe cleaner. So put in the lock through the pipe cleaner and then I have the lock and the end of the pipe cleaner in this hand. And I'm just gonna do one twist to pretty much lock my hair into the pipe cleaner so it won't move while I'm twisting it up. So now I'm going to go ahead and just wrap my hair around the pipe cleaner all the way up to my scalp. And once I get to my scalp, so this is my scalp up here, I'm going to take, I'm not going to do it all the way up to here, but I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to fold it down like that and squeeze it. So there is one. That's how it looks. So that's what I've been doing all over my head. If you have, so I, I search videos and I didn't have a lot of tutorials on people with locks uh, as short as mine. So as you can see, the front of my locks literally just come right here. My locks are literally about um, bob length is what I would say. So they don't come uh, too far down. I did find a lady who came like shoulder length. So that was as close to mine's. And what she was saying is the tighter you uh, do your the curls so the closer together you make the curls the shorter your hair will be and the more tightly curled they will be they will be so the women with like longer locks were making their curls super tight because okay if I have like a booty length locks I want my locks to at least come up to right here so their curls were super super tight but since my hair is already short I want them to maintain the length that they have but I still want um, a little bit of that spiral curl so hopefully um, I've kind of like been twisting them loosely so hopefully um, when I take them out they won't be as like 
shrunk up and like tight to my head and I won't be walking around here looking like Annie. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys two more times. So here's the next lock and I'll show you guys what I mean by loose curling and tight curling. So again, take my pop cleaner, fold it in half. These two don't have to be even for any reason. I'm just folding them in half because it's easier that way. So I'm gonna fold it in half and then twist, 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 twist till I get to the end, I'm taking this loop and I'm twisting it without closing the loop. So here's that. I'm gonna take my lock and put it right through the loop. And then I'm going to take my lock and the loop on one side and do one twist like that just so it stays. And so the way I've been doing my hair loosely is I'm leaving, I hate that this pipe cleaner is black because you guys can barely see it, but I'm leaving space between my lock, between the curls that I'm making. So there's space here, there's also space here. If I keep twisting it, there's space here and then going up there's space here. But if my hair, uh, say my hair was super, super long, I would do it closer together so that there's no gaps in between the hair. So as I'm twisting, I would make sure that it was almost like one continuous, like where you can see no gaps, it's pretty much one continuous curl. So this curl would be super, super tight and close to my scalp. So since that's not what I want, I'm going to make sure to, so I'm undoing it. I'm going to make sure to just leave some room in between the hair. So again, when I get up close to my root, I'm just going to take the piece of the pipe cleaner that's left over and squeeze like that. So there's that. And now it's sticking up a little bit. I figured these would stick up again because my hair is um, shorter. So Luckily, since it's a pipe cleaner, you can pretty much bend it. So I've been kind of like bending them like this one. I'm gonna bend it out of my way just a little bit. I want it a little bit straighter. Okay, so last time I'm gonna take the last lock, spray it again, cause it got a little dry. I'm gonna take this lock and I'm gonna twist it just a little bit. Leave that there. Take my pipe cleaner in half. See what I say about it being like easy. Like once you get in the in the rhythm of doing it, you can probably knock these out sooner. I was going back and forth. I was eating. Listen. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that loop portion, put it through my lock, and then I'm going to twist that end, and then just start rolling, rolling it towards my scalp. And then once I get to the end, so this is kind of a lot left. And since this is in the front of my head, I think, well, let me untwist it and do it a little bit looser. So I think I'm gonna grab, yeah. So I have a lot left over. And the scissors of the front is really why I care, but I have a lot left over. So I'm actually gonna grab some scissors and um, cut this a little bit. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with some scissors. So I'm gonna cut it kind of closer of course don't cut your don't cut your scalp but I'm gonna cut about this much off like that and then so now I just have this portion sticking out which is a little bit smaller and I'm just going to press it closed and the thing I like about since these are black pipe cleaners you can't really see them like you know they're there obviously if you start looking at my hair closely enough you can be like okay she has pipe cleaners in her head but <laughs> to the normal eye if you're far away from me and not all up in my business you can't really tell that i have pipe cleaners in my head it just looks like these are locks um and that those are just the length of my locks so that's why i really like um how these turned out because it's very inconspicuous like I feel like I can wear this as a style on its own so with a little bit of bending you guys can see that I kind of made those lay down just a little bit doing the same thing for the ones in the back I'm like laying them down I can also wear like a headscarf just to tie it a little bit um, on my head so that it kind of like molds to the shape of my head but I think I'm just gonna rock it like this so yeah I'm gonna show you guys how Everything looks close up. Like I said, you can still see the bobby pins in my head, or bobby pins. No, 
the pipe cleaners <laughs> in my hand, but they're not at all that noticeable. Like they don't look terrible. So here's the back. And then the side looks like that. And I chose to do a side part because I've been rocking a side part for the past couple of months. So I was like, let's do, let's be consistent. So yeah, that is how it's looking. I can kind of sweep them off my face if I wanted to. I can pin these back if I wanted to. Like, I feel like this is a style within itself. Um, today is Sunday, so I do plan on wearing this style before I go into the office. And I might even wear this all through next week and take this out next weekend hmm all right hi guys i'm back with the takedown so i've taken down the back half of my hair and i've been working on the front all this is done as well and it's okay it's okay um i kind of like how it turned out i'll give you guys a 360 of course but it kind of just looks like i did a twist out which you know it's good because i love twist outs there's a cute but I want a little bit more spiral. But anyway, um, I'm gonna show you guys how I've been taking them down. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. This still has the uh, pipe cleaner in my head. So what I've been doing is I've been taking the end and you know how we made the loop. I've basically been reversing that. So kind of untwisting it. And then I'm going to pull my hair out of the loop like that. And then I'm gonna go towards the top of my hair and so you know how we uh, basically pressed like this thing down. So we pressed it down. This time I'm going to lift it up like this. So I'm basically doing the reverse of what I've been doing. And then I'm going to gently untwist it enough to where I can grab the end, which is the loop, and pretty much just slide my hair through like that. And then have a little bitty baby girl <laughs> so it's been pretty easy um like i said i took down the um the pretty much the rest of my head already and i'm just taking out this little section on camera so y'all can see what i'm doing but yeah it hasn't taken that long so yeah back to what i was saying about it kind of looking like a um like a twist out is because it looks more wavy than like spiral so there's some in the back that look spiral like kind of like this one again i'll show y'all that um a little bit later but um i don't know i feel like i feel like one maybe i didn't wind it like tight enough and of course that was because like i had mentioned my hair is already short so i didn't want it i didn't want the curls to be like too um like tight up on my head i did want my curls to lay looser so I'm like, okay, well, since I wanted my curls to lay looser, I guess this is like, what was I expecting? <laughs> um, but yeah, I do feel like if you have length on your hair, so if your hair is longer than mine, then the spiral curls will like show through um, better than what they're showing through, at least for me that I can see. So yeah, I'm just gonna, like I was saying, I'm untwisting the bottom, pull them all through and then lifting up the top like straight up like that and then unwinding it just a little bit and then pulling it through the bottom like that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and continue to take the rest out and then i'll be right back okay guys i'm back and it's all done i've taken all of them out so y'all can see exactly how the hair is looking. Like I said, I don't hate it. I'm just not as in love with it as I thought I would be. But it's cute. Like, it's really cute. It literally looks like I just did a twist out on my hair. And I'm not mad at it. I'm really not mad at it at all. Um, I feel like here you can kind of see maybe a little bit of the spiral. It's like, okay, okay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So let me show y'all this cute 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 so it is cute like it is actually very cute um i am definitely going to try this style again when my locks are longer because i feel like i would get just like such a cute turnout oh y'all see that little spiral Boing. <laughs> all right so let me go ahead and give y'all a 360 of le hair le hair <laughs> All 
All right, y'all, so that is it for this video. I do have to go real quick, so I'm gonna make this quick, but thank you guys so much for watching another video. I hope that this has helped you. If you wanted to see how the pipe cleaner curls looked on shorter locks, so this is what you get. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something. If you do plan on trying out this style, then of course, let me know in the comments down below. i like to see how it turned out for you, or if you have any tips on how to get better curls on shorter locks, then course let me know please but other than that thank you guys so much for watching another video and i'll see you guys next time